Why, hello, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Um, there appears to be some uh, background noise on the mic, so hopefully there's actually no noise. Well, you know. There'll always be noise. Patchy. Oh, that. Never mind. Not doing that. Not doing it. Okay. So my resin. Yeah, it's all right, but it could be better, I guess. All right, let's. Uh, have I done child? No. Have I done? Uh, Ashdaha. Nope. Let's do an Ashdaha. Well, so apparently, the all devouring novel is copywritten. The music. God dang it. I think it's the first part where uh, you fight the whale. I mean, the nor the narwhal, not the not the warrior within, you know. Alright, the agenda for today. Lean line overflow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I forgot to do my lean line overflow. So yeah. Uh not sure what I'm looking at here. Time to eat. God damn it, why do I get this? Bonjin, me no hodo, Akimayo. Jugon, Chuk, Litsuru. Matsuri no Kaisi. Skin at the moment. I dodged that. I'm not sure. No, I need to live. I need to live. Look. Hana 
Hell yeah. Too easy. Pretty good. <laughs> I wish you could change these to default um artifacts. I want to get some other artifacts as default, not those ones. Well, anyway, I'm out of here. All right, we're now actually gonna do um. Ley line. What I'm gonna probably do is, uh, world quests. Gonna finish off the, these areas, I guess. And probably I'll run into the Supremos again. Let's see. There's a majority here. So I'll do this one, seems to be uh, by itself. Yeah. Also, when's the next banner? Five days. So after the next stream. Got it. I think it's behind this tower. I have the, the blade, but it doesn't work too well on the Traveler. So maybe I was ex thinking of exchanging it with the uh, Chi-Chi. Because she's all about the attack. And she could use deal great damage with it. <laughs> yep, Chi-Chi. Is this a broken down Rubit? It is. It's the first time I've seen a broken down robot. I think you're sitting away from the view. The view's over there. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. I thought the court's going to be inside the locked thing. But oh well, guess it's not. Alright. So what are we going to do about this guy? There he is. What the hell is he doing? Is it the treasure hoarders that buried him in there? Now the crabs are poking his head. Right, give me a second. Gotta fix the mic.
All right, that's better. Yeah. All right. I was originally coming here to grab some stuff, but this guy's just... Yeah, that's the shovel. This, this is like one of those treasure hoarder shovels, you know. Henri. Where is it? Uh, let's remove this marker. <laughs> okay, it's not activating. Does it only activate in the daytime or something? Or maybe I gotta get the crabs. Probably, right? I'm sorry about this, crabs, but you are in the way. Talk to Henri. Truly mouthwatering. You and Paimon are attracted by the aroma of roast chicken. No, just just Paimon. Okay, Paimon, go eat it. <laughs> Who did this? Who's torturing this poor bastard? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You are my saviors. I, Henri, will never forget your kindness. Let's focus on a more important matter. Paimon's curious how you ended up here. Ah, those, those crabs must have been attracted here by this aroma of roast chicken. Paimon is attracted here by that too. No, that's different. Those crabs were probably choosing between me and the roast chicken as the starter. Just the thought, just the thought that they might have chosen the fresher, fresh starter gives me chills. Sounds about right. The fresher, the better. I'm more curious about why you're buried in the ground. No, yeah, the fresher, the better. Hey, Papa was asking about Henri, not the crabs. Who else will be buried in the ground? So, do you need to help? Naturally. Uh, no, I, I mean no. Do not help me out. Ah, okay, okay. We heard you. Loud and clear. Let's go, Tubby Town. Let's take the chicken as well. No, wait, please. Huh? What's up? I, uh, uh, <clears throat> here's the thing. Please listen to me carefully. This, this is a brand new booty fat. You don't need to shout. Paimon's ears hurt. Worry not. I am a perfectly sane person. I am adopting a beauty practice that is scientific and healthy, which is why I buried myself in the moist sands with my own hands. He did it himself? <laughs> Please leave. Do not block my sunlight. Okay, why do you have to tell us about it? Uh, let's go? Since you're curious, then you leave me with no choice but to explain the magic of this skincare treatment. Uh, the clam worms in the sand can clear the- <sighs> So loud, shall we tell? What is up with this person? Paimon can't understand his words at all. This is really weird. Is that so? What do you think? Well, what's the camera doing zooming in and out? Let's check the vicinity first. Ah, are you leaving? Yes, we'll look around and come back later. Oh, okay, off you go. Investigate the vicinity. Don't look so early. Uh, this is the latest beauty trend. Um, speaking of which, why would they be over sticking here? Looks like there isn't sand stuck to an egg either. That's a good thing. You don't want to eat sand, trust me, trust me. <laughs> you ever had an oyster and it had sand in it? 
Oh my god, it's, it's the worst thing ever. It gave me a uh, PTSD. Alright, here's the shovel, which I'm not sure how he did it himself. Either he dug a really deep hole <laughs> and then just jumped in and just wriggled around and hopefully the sand will pour in again. <laughs> well, someone put him there. Did Andre bury himself with the shovel then? Continuing to show us strange people. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not people at all. <laughs> huh. Is that the spina? I wonder. Hmm, looks like a strange machine. And it's broken too. Tanta and Turner. <laughs> being that incense hilarious it's so adorable it's so cute oh look at this stoicism by god the man there are men amongst uh, the man among there are men amongst other men <laughs> hey don't you play on in this awkward silence Hello. 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 Uh, let's give him a normal voice. Hello. What a beautiful day. About the person over there. What person? We don't know the person you're talking about. They're just taking a walk. Yes, that's right. We are just taking a walk. A walk taken by us. Two totally ordinary people. What a beautiful day. And what a wonderful thing walking is. Don't you think? Taking a walk is totally normal. I'm sure you understand. Uh, what are you guys even talking about? Did you hear someone calling for help? A man is buried in a crowd over there and almost got eaten by crabs. What? Something like that happened where we take walks? On such a beautiful day? If he gets eaten by crabs, that'll be really funny. Oh, I mean, a real pity. Shame we won't let this happen. I mean, we can't let this happen. If we run into something like this during our walk, we will not be bystanders. I mean, if. What are you guys doing here? Taking, taking a walk. Like we said, taking a walk. You really didn't notice anything weird? No, none at all. Yeah, none at all. Except that the two of you are interrupting our walk. Well, you weren't walking when I saw you. Taking walks is very personal. We do not like being interrupted. We suggest that you find a good place for walks. The Fountain of Lucene, for instance, is a pretty good place. This is where we take walks. I mean, where we feel the nature. That's why we don't want to be interrupted. Goodbye. They still are pretty strange. Hello. We are taking a walk. And we hope you will not interrupt our walk. Hello, Henri. 
don't doubt me. I buried myself here with my own very, with my very own hands. This is the latest beauty trend. Uh, Karuto, any thoughts? Hmm. Perhaps. Almost ate Henri's head or the roast chicken. The skin is grilled to perfection, fragrant and crispy. The sizzling fat inside is releasing a thousand aromatic compounds that speak of tenderness that melt in the mouth. It looks delicious. How do you even manage to bury yourself like that? The latest fad and a very weird attitude. Why did he have to scream and shout then? Did he shout so that other people can, then us could hear him? Speaking of such people, they are probably. They're obviously not taking a walk. <laughs> No, that can't be. What? What do you mean? Roast chicken and a nearby shovel. Burying roast chicken. What? I see. Henri tried to bury the roast chicken with his shovel, but ended up getting buried by crabs. <laughs> what? Roast chicken? Oh. I see. Henri wants to lure the crabs with the roast chicken. Of course. Henri is afraid of asking for our help because he is scared of the Walker Jewel. So the reason why the Walker Jewel makes Henri scared is because of the chicken. I bet you it's the chicken. No, I can't be in. What? They were the ones who buried Henri. No, it's definitely burying roast chicken. No, it can't be it. Ah, uh, catching crabs? No. Before the Walker Duo? No. Walker Duo? No. Central Cambry? No. Okay, I guess it has to be this. <laughs> I have done nothing. Uh, this is the latest beauty trend. Ah, when did you? We are taking a walk. Taking walks is a form of exercise. Exercise. Exercise involves movement. Movement is what brought us here. Did you do this? So what if? Oh, Hunter, I remember now. Take a good look at him. That's the person he told us not to mess with. Right, right. What are you whispering about? Nothing, we are just taking a walk. That's right, we are just taking a walk. If there's nothing else, we'll... Keep walking and walk to other places. Wait, don't you have to do anything scary to me anymore? The lesson has been learned, if you know what I mean. What lesson? Nothing, I mean. Roast chicken is dangerous. It invites trouble. See it as a valuable lesson. Let's go. But, roast chicken is de bored. Hotel de bored. Forget the roast chicken. We should continue our walk. You want something to treat us a roast chicken next time, says Turner. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I knew you'd understand. Seems he is exactly like what Kamabito said. Let's help Henri out. But digging you out is a really exhausting job, so Papa will take the roast chicken as payment. 
<laughs> but Paimon's not even the one digging. Huh? Uh, uh, all right. Fine. It takes you a while to help Henri out of the sands and take the barrel off him. Off him. Like the barrel? Oh. They put him in a barrel first and buried him. Oh, well, that's smart. You start enjoying the delicious roast chicken with Paimon. Henri seems as if he's about to drool, but he holds back the desire to have a have a shear. To keep his promise and maintain his dignity. However, seeing Henri trying really hard to not uh, to look unaffected, Paimon offers to share the roast chicken with Henri. The chicken is crispy on the outside and gives out an irresistibly oily aroma. Yum yum. Freedom! Ah, the sweet taste of freedom. No, though not as satisfying as roast chicken is, freedom sure is sweet. What does I even say? Freedom? <laughs> this is a new asset. So, what is the bone that you holding stand for? Hmm? Oh, is this? It represents protest, of course. Against what? Hmm, how should I put this? They are the ones who buried me. They did it to stop me from working hard, which is why I want to protest. Wait, why did I want you to stop working hard? Can you keep a secret? Of course! Your secrets are safe with Paimon. Then yours are safe with me too. But I'm afraid I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> it was just randomly asking, can you keep a secret? Hey, are you making fun of Paimon? Let's talk about something else then. Okay, what's with the bell you were wearing? Is that a form of protest as well? That's armor. Ah, uh, that's... I don't know. Before they paid me, they put this bell on me. A deed born of their twisted taste, I will I'll wager. And why did you end up buried by them? Because they are terrible, terrible people. They just got me for no reason at all and buried me in the sand. They want me dead. No reason at all, huh? Really? Of course. Didn't you see? I was literally buried in the sand. If they didn't want me dead, why else would they do it? Hmm, that makes sense. So be told, what do you think? Broken machine. The machine with an unclear purpose. Seems like it's no longer functioning. Is it related to the situation here? Probably. The chicken is crispy on the outside and gives out an irresistible oily aroma. Yum yum. But Henri was buried so he couldn't eat it. Though it feels kind of weird, the roast chicken was placed in front of him because... The barrel on the wall could Juo put around Henri's chest before he was buried. Under such circumstances, the barrel prevents the sand from applying pressure to the chest so that Henri would not be suffocated. Which is to say, the walker duo did not want to kill him, so the true intention was... Almost ate Henri's head or the roast chicken. Associate with the, the chicken. No? <laughs> He's already to catch me. Yes, I see. The walker duo wanted to use Henri to attract crabs. If it were Paimon, she might have fallen for that. Use Bruce Chicken to catch Henri. They mentioned lesson before leaving. 
Seems like they wanted to teach Henri a lesson by burying him in the sand and letting him see the roast chicken that he couldn't reach. But why? Is that a broken machine? Who does he break the machine? Judging from the clues from the scene, the reason that it could all be this. Who is they trying to use him to catch crabs? Oh. And try to catch him using crabs out of whatever. What? So they didn't intend to kill me at all? Ah, <sighs> you guys are really observant. That's right. I was the one who broke the machine. Ah, well, those machines are pretty tough too. But why did you break the machine? Huh? Why indeed? Because, what is he, uh, one of those uh, stop oil guys? A long time ago, I lived a poor, miserable life. I was really depressed. Then I met a guy who gave me a healthy drink that lifted my spirits. He was really kind to me, so I wanted to pay him back for his kindness. One day I had my chance. <clears throat> he introduced me to some very rich people and asked me to help them. All I did was menial work, such as collecting mechanical parts, as I belong to the Fontaine Research Institute. The rich people paid me a pretty sum for those chores. I don't know about you, but that sounds like theft. <laughs> well, sounds pretty awesome. Right? This time they asked me to find this strange machine, take the call out, and deliver the call to them. I can both repay my bro and make some money. I've got to give my all. Those terrible people. Perhaps they hated seeing me work hard, working hard to change my life for the better. They interfered with my work and they warned me against delivering the uh, precision components to my employers. But I wouldn't let them win. I took the job and protested against their behavior. As a, and as a result, like you said, I was taught a lesson. Oh, poor you. Oh, poor you. But is this job of yours really so well paid? Of course. This is one of the reasons why I didn't want to tell you why I'm protesting. However, since you saved my life... Not as much as saving your life, I mean. I also saw that since you two are really observant, I might as well just tell you the truth. You can see as a collaboration. Such strange machines have been deployed above ground and underwater. Here. It's easy to spot such machines. They all produce a peculiar light around them. Handle it for me and bring me this specific core inside it. There should be seven in total. After it's done, we'll split the earnings 50-50, deal? Sounds good. What do these machines do? Take 70% of the earnings and 20% must be paid in advance. Now what do these machines do? They destroy the environment. These machines are evil stuff. Destroy how? Am I going to know? I'm not a member of the Fontaine Research Institute. Anomalies have already occurred. So it has to be hazardous to the environment. Ah. Oh. <laughs> So he is a just up oil guy. Well, that sounds reasonable. Every time we see any supernatural environment during our adventure, there's bound to be some trouble that we have to deal with. Don't be told. Why don't we help Henri? Ah, great. It's all then. Bring me seven cores. Let's become rich together.
What do I want? Labor rights. When do I want them? Now. I brought the clothes you wanted. Hey, why are you protesting here? We must rise where we fell, of course. Uh, what do you want me to do anyway? Duh. What will I do with you? Seriously. Now, someone has placed some strange machines of this sort above ground and underwater. They are very easy to identify as well. There will be a strange line to their area. Get rid of them and bring these specialized calls to me. I need seven in total. Thanks. This ungrateful piece of shit. Hey, he moved the machine closer. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna invite retribution. Anyway. Hey, I brought the cause you wanted. Hmm? Let me see. Mysterious core. Mysterious core taken from a mysterious machine. Although it appears to be a gear, it is in fact a gear shaped core. Very mysterious indeed. Oh, I don't have enough. Yes, you are the only person here. Even though I'm not here. <laughs> Daniel, have I talked to you? I think I've talked to you before. I'm doing, I'm doing world quests. It's this one in particular. Does it actually have a name? No, it doesn't. Uh, I don't know where this core is. Maybe it's in the water? Doesn't seem like they have any strange lights by them. One core. I'm gonna find it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna find this. AR sixty, my guy. assume is that it's in this area so I'm not gonna wander too far away How long did I grind? Uh, grind? <laughs> grind for what? <laughs> I mean, how long did it take me to get to AR-60? I 
Can't be these guys, can it? Probably not, right? I'll fight them anyway. Hello. Uh, <laughs> took me like two years, I guess. I wasn't going particularly. I wasn't going particularly ham at it. Oh, is there something? No. I reckon it's in there. <laughs> nah, I'm not day one player. I'm a. Uh, I started after Inazuma. Didn't even know about the game until then. if it's inside this thing. No. You mean Raiden's first banner or... And a second banner? I can't remember her second banner. I remember the first banner because that's that's about where I started. How many primos do I have? 78k. Bloody wonder court crap. Am I gonna find him? All right, if I can't find him, I'm going around this thing. Then uh, I'll just do some other world quest. Good thing. So you don't understand what I'm doing? Well, I'm currently doing a world quest. But it's not on the quest tracker. And the quest involves finding a... Finding a... An enemy that glows. A mechanical enemy that glows and you got to kill it and take its core and you don't know where it is which is the kicker I, I don't know where it is say it's a secret world quest but it, it's like uh, I, I guess you would say it's a secret world quest but you know, I don't I, what the hell is this holy shit Oh, that's a different time. I've never seen you before. At least maybe on land. Oh well.
Man, uh, wouldn't they have given me like a direction? Is it this guy? I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna have to take you down. It's not him. Okay. I didn't even know where I got my other wonder cores from. Ah, thank you, my guy. Yeah, that that's the that's the kicker. It doesn't have a name. There is, there is no quest marker for it. It has no name. <laughs> At least you can Google that. You know what? I, I'll Google. Henri NPC Seven Wonder Cores. These seven mysterious cores can be found in precious chests that can be obtained after completing an overworld puzzle. Ah, oh, no wonder. Oh my god, they're all over the place. Okay. It's not from an enemy. This lying son of a bitch. Exactly. What the hell, indeed? How am I gonna solve this without, you know, looking it up? Okay. It should be this one. Oh. Wait, does it mean that? This sucky thingy. Oh, I see. It's not an enemy at all. It's this, I found it. What? Give me your loot. Sino, no, I do not. I could get him, but I won't. Here it is. It should be it. Ooh, looks like we collect all seven mysterious calls already. Uh, guess we will talk to Henri. Still mouth watering. There we go. Quest name. They have collected seven mysterious calls in accordance with Henri's instructions. It's time to go back and look for Henri. <laughs> Indeed, I can get anyone I want. <laughs> I could have even gotten Nadia. Well, not Nadia, I'm... Um, Farina. But I chose not to. C. 
I'll have to be lucky to get C3. But I can get C2 guaranteed. Hey, Henri. I brought the cores you wanted. Lost a Tignari. Well, if you didn't have a Tignari before, then it's pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Seven cores, all told. Told? What do you need with them anyway? How should I know? My boss just said seven mysterious cores from these mysterious machines should would be needed. And if I can get them, get them, I'll make big more. And, well, this'll do. I've arranged to meet him here and report uh, on the situation. So you can go just ask him yourself. In any case, I'll need him to settle his bills with me before I can give you your share. Ugh, fine. If you say so, we'll wait. No. Oh. It's a Fatui. You didn't have Tignari before. I wanted Sino. You don't need Sino to have a Hyper Blue team. I mean, people use uh, Fischl, but my personal favorite is actually Dory. <laughs> Dory is my best Hyper Blue. Err. Very well, boss. I've gathered the seven mysterious calls you asked for. Anyway, uh, let me introduce you to my partner. Uh, what's your name again? Yeah, Dory. Oh, Aggravate. Aggravate's a bit different. Uh, well, now, now you can't really do Aggravate, but you can do Spread. <laughs> so build that Tignari and you can do Spread. <laughs> Uh. Uh. Wait, you know each other? Great. So this is how thing. So this is how things went. Ah, Stavito. Why is he here? The boss turns to flee, but is suddenly captured by Hunter and Turner, who come from out of nowhere. After a while. Ah, mercy! I have mercy. <laughs> and now he's buried. You're just AR thirty four? Well, keep at it. You'll get there. Anyways. AR sixty you don't really get much bonuses. Could just say it's like a uh, bragging rights. At most. <laughs> These two are pretty skilled. Don't worry, boss. There's no mortal danger here. I'm sure of it. Indeed, indeed. No one's in any danger at all. For now, anyway. For now? As for what comes next... Whether you wind up as roof's chicken or something else altogether, well, that's all up to you, boss. <laughs> how did the two of you end up here anyway? Uh, how did the two of you end up here? After we had the honor of meeting you previously, we decided to tail Henri. Huh? Wh huh? Wait? Why me? Actually, uh, why was I the target in the first place? I was just doing my job. The machines you dismantled were devices used by the Fontaine Research Institute to monitor and optimize water quality. Huh? Weren't they meant to produce pollution? Light pollution at most. The cores you dismantled contain the most advanced central components and hydrological data in Fontaine, 
As such, we hope to acquaint ourselves with your trading partner. The uh, what? Why? You lied to me, Henri. Gas shock. We were tricked. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, it's so shocking. You lied to me, boss. Did you know you were making me destroy such important things? Uh, I didn't mean to. I'm only the lost rung on the... Hmm? What did I hear about you not meaning to do something? Did you say that? Could you say that again? I don't think I heard you clearly. Me? Oh dear. This boss must be tired. He's even fallen asleep with his eyes open. Uh, th this wasn't our intention either. Well, about that. They've decided not to pursue the matter. Really? Will things be okay like that? We just need the cores and the data within them to be whole. The machines themselves are ancillary. What, five stars? Too many. <laughs> I'm gonna have to open up my character selection to see. The higher-ups say that it's fine, and that we shouldn't tangle with you regardless. Hmm? What's that about tangling with me? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I mean, would you look at that? It's us, out on a stroll. Again. <laughs> and fancy us meeting you here, right? Huh? What lovely weather. And a lovely coincidence, too. Alas, all encounters must come to an end. And so too will ours. It's time to say goodbye, I fear. Just allow the beauty of such a meeting to linger in your heart. Or perhaps... Forget about it. Who knows? It might be... Better that way. Huh? So, we're all right? Would you prefer to be otherwise? No, I can't. No, we're all right. Of course we are. Ah, thought I'd meet a good person with whom I could turn my life around with through labor. Alas, people of ill intent remain the dominant majority. Hey, Henri. Lend a hand, would you? Huh? I mean, it's a mighty shame, but this good-hearted boss of yours seems to have lost his wits. We're going to need someone. Hard-working. Reliable. You know, a good friend who hopes to change his life through honest labor. That's right. We need a good friend to help us take this nice man to our safe house. There we can speak with him at our leisure. Of course, we will express our gratitude in Mora. Why they seem so evil? <laughs> Why their dialogue seem so evil? Oh, sure. You count me in, then. Ah, thank you, thank you both. And thank you, too. Uh... Tobito, and she's Paimon. Thank you both, Tobito, Paimon. My, life's real... My life really did change after meeting the two of you, it seems. No need to thank us. Just work hard, Henri. And don't get fooled again, alright? Yes, I won't. I'm going to work hard and become a rich man, and then I'll have others working for me. Hunter, Turner, and Henri dig the unconscious Fatus out and take him away. Scared him witless. Well, Paimon sure hopes that Henri's life will be will turn around. Hey, meanwhile, we got another uh, sweet madame. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What about the pay Henri was supposed to give us? Mr. Sweet Madame. Mouth-watering, roast chicken, hell yeah! <laughs> Truly mouth-watering. Delicious Sweet Madame. 
Oh my god, two of them. Oh, that's because it's um Turner and Oh god, I can't I forgot the other guy's name. Oh, um, that's that. Five stars, huh? Nuvalet, Shina, Yelan, Hutao, the Albedo, Hazaha, Jean, Chi Chi. Of course, Chi Chi. Ayaka, <laughs> Kokomi, Alloy, can't forget about Alloy. Uh, Yoimiya. Yula, Yan, uh, Yaimiko, Tinknari, Nilu, and Disha. A good selection, I'll say. Good. Very good. Uh, I'm not sure if I... Actually, I lied. I am not going to pull on Navius banner. Maybe. Hmm. Should I... No point, really. I do want Chevreuse, so I'll, I'll I'll pull on that banner. Maybe like thirty times. Yeah. Overload. Overload teams come back. With Chevreuse. That'd be fantastic. Actually, I should do these ones closer to the station. Alright. Alright, finally it's time to do these quests. Let me see, I have two hours left. Alright. Guijaro? Guijaro. Gui. Gui. Guijaro. I have no idea. Let's, uh, let's see what Google says. Is it even a name? Translate. Guijaro. Translate from Spanish. Pebble. Guijaro. Okay. Also, she's Spanish. <laughs> um. It can't be. It can't be. Uh, Spanish. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what a Spanish person sounds like. What are you doing? Uh, no, I swear I didn't do anything. Please don't hurt me. What are you talking about? Why do we want to hurt you? I don't know, but I also don't know what, that you won't really hurt me. You're not making any sense. What are you talking about? Oh, I've got it. It must be because I discovered your secret, right? I I took the newspaper with your secret letter hidden inside it in, in the coffee shop. Or because I accidentally discovered your passphrase? Wait a moment. Could it be that the fish I ate last night? I say the reason that the fish had so few bones is because you already deboned that fish. Or maybe it's a fillet of fish. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You, yes, yes. You wish to use the difference in the number of bones in each fish to send a message. But I accidentally brought, bought this one and brought it back home with me. What the heck is this guy talking about? Papa can't make heads or tails of it. I won't hurt you. Don't be so paranoid. You don't be so paranoid. You really aren't out to hurt me? What? 
what's with you? We've only just met. Why would we want to hurt you? Really? I'm, I'm glad. And I'm really sorry. How embarrassing. I've been working hard on a detective novel recently. But I still don't know what methodology the criminal should use to commit the crime. And because I'm always overthinking things so... Now when I look at anything, my first reaction is to consider how it could be used to, you know, commit crimes. <sighs> That's why I was so nervous just now. I truly am sorry. Maybe I have become somewhat they call paranoid now. I was about to ride the Acrobus into the city for a cup of coffee, but when I saw Acrobus running, I, I immediately saw countless possibilities. All the ways I could be killed in on, a, on an aquabus. I simply didn't dare to board. You said yourself it was only paranoia. There's no way that'd happen. Stop ever thinking it. Well, actually, it could happen, but the guards are here. Or are they guards? <laughs> <laughs> that may be so, but I simply cannot stop thinking about it. And the more I think, the more afraid I become. I'll accompany you. I'll escort you there. I'll accompany you. Really? Amazing. But what if the people who want to hurt me hurt you too? You just try to relax. Come on, come on. Stop overthinking it. No matter what the problem is, Tavito can handle it. Easy peasy. Danger lurks everywhere in Fontaine. Oh, head to the vicinity of the Aquabus. Actually, what was the quest thing you say? You encounter an odd person beside an Aquabus line near the Court of Fontaine. Guess it's sort of near the Court of Fontaine. The Aquabus is just over there. We'll pull together in a bit. Am I on it? Hey! Why are you crouching on the ground holding your head? Did you hit your head or something? But there isn't anything here to hit your head on. Shh! Get over here! Lie down next to me! It's dangerous here! Here we go again. Where's the melody? This aquabus doesn't have any kind of barrier on top. You place two poles on either side and run fishing line between them. And when the Aquabus passes through, that fishing line will suddenly become a knife that... Oh my god, this is not three-body problem. Ah, stop! Don't say anymore! No, no, no. No, no, you don't even need to pose. One would be enough. If you hung up some fishing line on it with the hook just dangling there, then the people on the Aquabus would naturally be hooked and left hanging in the air, and then... Not listening! Not listening! Not listening! Paimon's not listening! La 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 la! After listening to her this whole time, even Paimon's getting kinda scared. Let's get off the Aquabus as soon as we arrive at the station, alright? Oh, not you too, Paimon. Hey, there's the poles. You carefully disembark from the ship with Gijaro. Nothing happened, and I'm still alive. Wonderful. Of course we're fine. You said it was all your paranoia. No, we still have not yet reached our destination. It's far too early for such a conclusion. What if... No, we must hurry, just in case. Hey, welcome back. Anyway, where are you up to in the story? For AR-34, I would assume like in a zoom. What quest is this? This is Danger Lurks Everywhere in Fontaine. It's just a paranoid person who writes uh, detective novels. Yeah, just finishing the Zuma. Yeah, take your time with the content. Don't want to burn out like many other people. 
by going too hard on it. All at once. Chapter 4. Act 2. That's the mirror. <laughs> hmm. Why are you hiding again? It's nothing around here. Can't you see that cardamic? It's right in front of us. There's something wrong with it. Ah. Uh, and. There's something wrong with it. Shh, quick! Get out of here! What if it gets out of, goes out of control? This is not day is X. My god, it'll be fine. Or maybe it's... It's power core will suddenly explode. Or someone controlling it remotely will use it to attack us. It looks completely normal to me. Well, that's the thing. It's meant to look completely normal. And then, boom, it turns into a Terminator. That is exactly what makes me so scared. A mecha that is operating normally, suddenly losing control, and some poor unfortunate subs suddenly losing their life. My god. Is every region 100% explored? Uh, not really. <laughs> I still haven't completely finished Mondstadt. I'm not sure why. I'm not, I'm not even sure what I'm missing. Nobody would even be res held responsible for such a thing. Perhaps the true culprit will never be found. No, it's simply too dangerous. Is she putting all this in her novel? He already left. He can come out now. Phew. It didn't go out of control. Truly unexpected. Our lives have been spared yet again. That kind of accident just isn't possible. It wasn't going to go berserk in the first place, capiche? Yeah, <laughs> capiche. I don't have to add that. That kind of accident just isn't possible, right? What do you mean it's not possible? It is possible. Everything's possible. Am I pulling for Raiden? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, not for Raiden. Well, I'm pulling for Chevrus with Raiden's... With Raiden along. You know, on Raiden's banner. So I might pull right in. What was I? Th what I was thinking of was more than an, more of an intentional accident. Wait, a criminal events without a culprit, a crime that no individual will be held solely responsible for. What's my pity? I have no idea. <laughs> That's it. Inspiration has stuck. Quickly, quickly to the cafe. I must write this down. Hey, slow down! Don't you want to tell your rock and trip you off or something? Man, she's full of inspiration. Uh, history. Um, uh, how does this work? I have to use my freaking thing? I'm boring! Character event. Three, four, five, six, six, thirty, uh, one, two, thirty-two. Yeah. So, um, the possibility of me getting right in is not too high. Especially, I still gotta deal with that 50 50. Yeah. Alright, that's true. Coffee is getting cold. We're already finished drinking. 
Thank you, Tabito, and thank you for escorting me here. You say escort, but all we did was walk with you here. We didn't do anything. Nothing bad happened, and you encountered no danger. Yes, it appears I really was overthinking it. This coffee is really great. <laughs> oh no, there's drugs in the coffee. So, do you think it's poisoned? <laughs> Would it kill you not to say things like that for two seconds? <laughs> My spiral abyss progress. It will be stuck on eight. Uh, floor eight. Chamber three or whatever. Because I haven't done it. <laughs> Stop saying that kind of baloney. We finished drinking already, and we're fine, right? No, no, no. Perhaps it's a... Uh, it is a special sort of poisoning. First, the poisoner mixes a kind of medicine into our coffee. Drinking that medicine alone will have no effect whatsoever on the victim. After we have finished our poison drinks and gone home, the poisoner will follow us. And as we sleep, he will enter our room and mix a second kind of put medicine in our water bottle. <laughs> what, what, what's the point? No, sir, Paimon with coffee, but that. thing in our events tab I uh, know maybe maybe it's for returning players in that events tab because I, I, I don't see that the next day after you're out and about you'll take a drink from the wa your water bottle then the two medicines will mix and react within your body and then we'll the sound of hurry footsteps suddenly draws near my dear customer just what are you saying Coffee? Poisoned? Please do not make such jests in my establishment. Should your japes affect the other customers, I shall have to ask you to leave. Sir, allow me to explain. She is a friend of mine. Yeah, so back off. <laughs> you explain Gijaro's situation to Aruet. After listening, he leaves, exasperated. That's a bit too many, too many primos, so I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. And by way of apology, Gijaro buys another three cups of coffee. Oh, nice. You watched him make the coffee this time. There's no way there could be a problem with it. Stop imagining things. Now this is when he put the second poison in. It's the coffee itself. I know, I know. But... I did find a lot of inspiration along the way. Yeah. She, I don't think she suffers from writer's block at all. If I just put it all together, I'm sure I can think of how the perfect crime, one that leaves no trace, could be committed. After I finish writing the book, I'll be sure to send you a copy. But before that, let me finish this cup of coffee. This cup... of coffee. <laughs> I'll stop you right there. I'll drink it. My God. Uh, Tobito, do you think is it at all possible? Shut it. Just stop right there. <laughs> yeah, just stop right there. I'm drinking it. Hey, Paimon, drink it. Drink. <laughs> Paimon. <laughs> Use drink on coffee. <laughs> Could this cup itself have poison on it? No, oh, it's, it's just over and she's gone. No, oh, it brought me back here, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. But yeah, floor eight, chamber three. Oh. oh. 
One day, 20 hours. I guess I should do it. I, I could do it tomorrow. Okay, here's the second one. Let's uh, see what this one's about. Also, if you're trying to link something to YouTube, I don't think links work. <laughs> Still open, right? Yeah, I can. I can still go back down there. Moment of syzygy. What the hell is this anyway? It's like a lamp. of Syzygy. Actually, it doesn't show Moment of Syzygy here. Event. No, it doesn't show it here, is it, either. It usually does show it. I guess it's the next one. Inspect the fountain. Yeah, it's just a lamp. Not sure what that's doing there for. The fountain is silent and seems to have stopped working. Permanent event. Hmm. As you observe the fountain, someone else arrives. Ah, why hasn't Adele fixed this fountain yet? If this doesn't get fixed soon, Kearty is going to make sure everyone in Teyvat hears about it. Is this fountain broken? Ah, just a few days ago. It was still working just fine, but now it's suddenly stopped. What's worse, it broke just as I was performing magic tricks for Kearty. My parents were at the opera when it happened, and they told me to stay at home with my sister and entertain her with games or books. But Kearty wouldn't stop pestering me to take her out. I just couldn't stop her and ended up taking her outside to play. Wait a minute. I think I know her. When we got to the fountain, Kyachi suddenly said she wanted to wait for her parents to come out of the opera so she could walk home with them. That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, Paimon thinks since you already walked all that way, if you wait for your parents to come out, maybe they could have treated you to something yummy. It was already really late by then. If mum and dad really found out I snuck my sister out and we were loitering around at night, they'd kill me. So I told a little white lie to Kyatri. I told her I knew a magic trick that could make the fountain stop spraying water. Actually, I just knew the timing between spurts of water. I want to amuse her and get her to go home. I correctly estimated when the fountain would stop and my sister bought my magic spiel. Hook, line, and sinker. She wouldn't stop badgering me to teach her how to do this spell all the way home. So after I brought her home, I made up some stuff to satisfy her curiosity and got her to go to bed before heading back to my room. Mom and Dad came home a little while later and everything seemed normal. But the next day when I was, go get was out getting the paper for Dad, I realized that this pay a fountain was still not working. It was broken. The abyss corridor reward was just the total of the eight floors. <laughs> it probably is, because I have heard nothing about increasing the primo reward of each floor. Okay. 
because uh, an extra 2400 would be a bit overkill, I'll say. <laughs> I don't see it happening, let's just say that. Your magic is pretty powerful, as expected of a mighty magician. Come on, don't tease me. If Kyachi mentions this to mom and dad, I'm toast. Uh, the fountain at the plaza suddenly broke down. What do you think happened, dear? That's really strange. It seemed fine before we went to the opera la that night. I know why. It's because Remedy made it stop. Isn't that right? That's a really good impression. Thanks to your vivid and passionate performance, I now totally understand the situation. And what's more, they'll find out that my sister and I were, told were out that at night, and then they'll yell at me so much, and I'll be in hot water for the next two months. But this fountain should have someone managing it, right? If it's broken, can't they just call someone to fix it? It's all good. <laughs> I never expected uh, any increase to that anyway. I told the fountain's manager Adele about this, and he promised that he would fix it as soon as possible. But even now, the problem is, hasn't been sorted out. I can't hide it much longer. I'm finished. Totally finished. I'll go ask him about it for you. Oh, this isn't a big deal. I'll give you a hand. Really? You're willing to help? In that case, I'll give you my... My spare lots. All of it. Adele is over there. Please hurry up and go ask him what's going on. I won't be able to hide what happened much longer. Is this the end of the line for me? Yes. The fountain flows again. A fountain on Aranyas seems to have a small problem. You don't dog it. <laughs> oh, purple hair. The pipes here need to be changed, and the valves. There's also the matter of cleaning the thing. Ah, problems on top of problems. Huh? Did you need? Do you need something? From the look of you, you're not Estelle's repair crew. Estelle's repair crew. About Remodier. Remodier. Oh him. <laughs> His magic is really something. It rusted a valve in the fountain's bottommost piping. Also completely broke the nozzle. <laughs> I jest. Actually, it was the deformed valve getting stuck in that jam... Getting stuck that jammed the entire water system. For safety reasons, we temporarily shut down the entire fountain. But why did the nozzle break? I really don't know. It's so weird. Remedia keeps saying... If the fountain doesn't get fixed soon, it's going to get chewed out. But there was only so much I could do previously. Remodier. Oh, what? Kazaha! I finally had some time to order a new valve and nozzle from Estelle today, and I'm about to go to the city to get it. You can come with me if you want. I have quite a lot of things to collect, so I'm a little worried that I won't be able to manage on my own. I'm not sure how we ended up being in the fountain repair crew, but sure, why not? Didn't even ask for payment. With my favorite fire star. Now I'll have to be Shen He.
Hello. How can I... Oh, Adele? I'm here for the valve and nozzle. If the fountain isn't fixed soon, we'll drive that kid Romadeo up the wall. The valve, you say? Uh, why are you stuttering? Still, you didn't forget to make it, did you? No, I did make one. But a previous client had to do urgent repairs on something else. So I uh, gave her some general parts. Don't worry, I'm in the midst of making a new one right now. It'll be ready shortly. You can't just give away your client shit. Miss Estelle, I put that order in long ago. I know, but that client of mine was in a hurry. She claimed that she needed to repair a sewage valve, and her pleading got the better of me. It's alright. Once, once the iron chunk I purchased arrives, I'll be able to make that valve. It should be here soon. When did you put that order in? This morning. Leave the matter of the iron chunks to me. I'll go get you those iron chunks. Really? Excellent. Then, excellent. We'll be counting on you, traveler. Why? Pretty sure it's obvious, why? <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry. Just three iron chunks will be enough. Well, we'll be counting on you, Traveler. Don't worry about the remuneration. I won't have you working for free. When I saw her teaser, it's like, oh my god. I have to get her. And plus, she's, she's actually fantastic. Damage on the mountains. Uh, all combinations, I guess. <laughs> Before I was running a Chongyun, and I need, like, um, damage boost. But yeah, it's really the teaser that got me. An epic story of the um, rebuilding of the Jade Chamber. Yeah, Dale. But on the other hand, that kid, Rumaldier, will go nuts if the fountain isn't repaired soon. Am I? I mean, am I sure? Of course, I'm sure. See, look, she's the only one I. I'm not sure if intentionally is the right word, but unintentionally, intentionally got a constellation for her. That's because I wanted a four star and she and she and Ayako were on the same banner and I said, eh, why not? Let's go on a Shinhai banner. Yeah, hey, Estelle. Traveler, did you get the iron chunks? Yes. Oh my god, I'm running out. Yes. Because of the teaser. The teaser got me. He should be enough. Hang on. It'll only take a second. Take me a second. The star begins working in a frenzy. Hmm. Alright, done. We've got the valve and nozzle, as well as the general components we'll need. It's all ready. Adele, traveler, let's head to Erinyes. As long as I'm there, the fountain should be fixed in no time. Oh, she's coming with. Thank you. Now take these things, traveler. Let's get going. Ah. Well, here's your favorite five star, or four star for that matter. This is the place. Let's get to work. This fountain has been quiet for too long. Time to get it back up and running. The two take their tasks with gusto. The valve has been installed. It's also performed a comprehensive... I've also com performed a comprehensive examination. No major issues. Alright. Then let's stand back for a moment. The only... Th remaining task should be to open the sluice gate. Let me see. The main sluice uh, is over there, and the secondary sluice will also need to be operated. 
Please wait for me here. I'm going to open the sluice gates. Who even designed this system? Why'd they put the sluice gates so far away? Adele sprints over to the sluice gates with all haste and comes back after a while. Uh, opening them was a pain. I'm beat. Let's wait a moment. The water should come rushing in shortly. After some dull rumbling sounds, the fountain resumes normal functionality. Awesome! The fountain, the fountain is working again. Now, even if Kiatri mentions what happened that night, I can pretend I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> now you know to be careful with your magic shows. Now you know that magic and miracles all come with a price. You like Sino because it's cool? Am I a whale of FTP? I'm a... A battle pass getter. I just get battle pass, that's it. If that counts as a whale, then I'm a whale. I don't think so, but... <laughs> a dolphin? No, no, I haven't known, really, but... I'm definitely not free to play there. They all come with a prize. This isn't a problem caused by magic at all. But thanks a lot anyway. Yeah, this is my spare allowance. Please accept it. The payment I promised you is in there too. Thanks for your help. And thank you too, Adele, Mr. Stell. This is as it should be. I think nothing I think nothing of it. Next time don't take your little sister out in the middle of the night. Uh Brother, what are you doing here? Catherine? What are you doing here? Aren't you... Weren't you supposed to be on the stroll with Mom and Dad? <laughs> I ran off while they weren't looking. I want to see how the fountain's doing. Can you use your magic to stop this fountain? I thought it wouldn't have started flowing yet. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, magic has its limits. I'm sure you know that, right? It only works for a set amount of time. Oh... I don't want to see more magic. Can you make the fountain stop again? Uh, this... Uh, uh, Gyatri, there are lots of other people around, you know. If I stop it, I'll upset all the people who want to watch it. Well, we can just come back later. And let's bring Mum and Dad too. I'm sure they'll also want to see you do magic. Huh? No, that's... Uh, dear sister, I haven't really fully mastered this fountain magic. I'm sure our parents won't want to see some lame half-baked magic. That's why you can't mention my fountain magic to our parents just yet. I want to understand it thoroughly before surprising them. Was it going to be a plumber? <laughs> okay, I'm sure they'll love it once you do. Yep, I'm sure they will. Well, let's head home first, alright? I can show you some new magic once we do. All that, all that primos is uh, from me playing every day, <laughs> and from welcome, because I don't get battle pass anymore. You see, it's fifty. Oh, I'm not getting it anymore. I'm full of this uh, shit. How do I, how do I see it? Yeah, nine nine thousand five hundred sixty-six. So I'm not getting it anymore. <laughs> My inventory can't handle it. And so yeah, I'm just saying, eh. Yeah, I've seen these two around here, that's why. I, just, I remember them. Alright, uh, let's go over here and do this quest. Why well, am I saving the primos? To get a character that I want? <laughs> a future character that I want. Who knows when one will show up? Like, uh, I don't know, Skirk. <laughs> Man, to be honest, Skirk doesn't really interest me that much. I know, random. Whoever comes up. Save it for a rainy day. Oh, the tower that's not no longer there. That's 
supposed to be over there. I don't know, maybe a La Senora will come around once. <laughs> I can get a Senora, yeah. Dog in a dress. Cat with a black hat. Wait a minute. This is Puss in Boots. Hmm. Senora is dead. Yes, yeah, she is. But what's to say that I can't get a, another Senora? I know. Well, they'll let you play with dead people. Uh, <laughs> like in uh, Impact Third, <laughs> or even in Star Rail, you go play with um, Tingyun. And I've done this. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Woof. Someone's singing here. Should we say hello? Hello. I guess yes. <laughs> You're the only person who doesn't have a gambling addiction. <laughs> uh, there, there's many people that don't do that. But, you know, it, it doesn't interest me to get. Well, I, I know I can't get every character, so I don't even try. <laughs> I just get the ones I want. Yeah, I don't care about meta. I don't care about meta at all. Should Paimon speak louder? Hello? Oh. Well, thank you, Puss in Boots. Well, doesn't have boots, but it has a hat. Where's the woof woof? Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Alright. I got it. Greetings, friends from afar. Welcome to our party. Please take a seat. A seat? I don't see no seats. Hmm. She looks very shy. Did we startle her? Let's tone it down a bit. Let's be careful when we speak. Yeah, Paimon got you. We'll take a... Wait. Paimon's not seeing any seats. Oh, there's one behind us, actually. Very comfortable seat. Uh, I'll take that. And Paimon doesn't sit down anyway. Woof, woof. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's okay, Nana. It's not necessary. Mr. Hujano is right. Don't need to follow any awful rules. We just need cookies and bones. Bones? Holy shit. Woof. Woof woof. Woof woof. Ah uh, woo. I've done pretty much all the quests. Except for the world quests, because I haven't done all of them. As you can see right here. <laughs> Are you talking to the puppy? Oh no, she's talking to you, Paimon. No. Not a puppy. This is Lady Nana. I think she's uh, immersed in her fantasy world. Anyway, that's it for the pre-meal speech. Time to raise a toast. I don't see cups either. Let's raise a glass in our minds. Yep. Always flexible no matter how weird the situation is, huh? In that case, let us raise a glass in our heads. To all the gears, muskets, and math books. Math books? Wait, why? Why am I making these sounds? Well, I agree with the dog. Woof. 
She pop a meal or woof along. Fine. Woof. Nah, she changed the dog too. Oh shit. Woof. Woof woof. Woof. Wait, did Pama Roof wrong? Uh, this hasn't felt right since the start. To be honest, when I did the Raiden story quest, I, I wasn't really too into the story. Because that's like uh, close to the beginning. That's when I didn't really care much about the lore or the story because I wasn't really introduced to it. But after I did Shadows Amidst Snowstorms with the Albedo, uh, Albedo event, that just, that made me uh, so interested in this game's lore. It's not funny. <laughs> His quest is brilliant and events as well. Such an interesting character, Albedo. Can someone translate their wolves and meows, please? Meow. Meow, meow. Sorry, you're right. As the party host, that was my negligence. I should have introduced myself first. Penny is my name. The fairy gentleman with the black hat here is Don Quijano. I was say, is that like spin on Don Quixote? Don Kijana, a swashbuckler. Meow. I think it's Spanish. Meow. <laughs> and this is Nana, a particularly elegant and very considerate lady. Yip yip, woo woof, woof woof. Thanks for saying, uh. What? Oh, it's the dog that's talking. Okay. Thanks for saying that, sweetheart. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> My artifacts are nothing to show for. They're they're pretty sh they're pretty uh, awful. I need to keep farming, but I only have so much resin, and I can't be bothered with artifact farming. <laughs> I can't get you know. The, the right stats. I always get the main substat, at least. But yeah, it, it's not good. It, it, it's really not good. <laughs> Am I imagining things? Was that dog speaking? Can't say I've never seen something like this before, but still. Yeah, with a uh, Toro, Toro Maru. Toro Maru. Am I imagining things? Why are you mumbling? It's our turn to introduce ourselves. This child seems to be talking to imaginary child animal friends. Should we roll with it? No, Lady Nana and Mr. Kujano are not imaginary, and they can speak. Oops, she heard us. May I tell them a little about you, Lady Nana? Just a little, or they won't understand what you'll say. Woof. Okay, Lady Nana is from the Court of Fontaine. She has a nice surname. Le Why? I won't bring that up then. Good Nana, sorry to hurt your feelings. What? I'll just mention the happy part. Nana's best pal is the purple eyed Autumn. Is that also another dog? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nuvalet is the new meta. <laughs> Solo Nuvalet. <clears throat> but I really liked him since I saw the um, Fontaine character trailers. You know, the, the one where they showcased a bunch of a uh, bunch of characters. And I saw him and it's like... If I was to get only one character from Fontaine, it would be him. But sure enough, I did get him. Although I did get Tignari as well, but... You know, I don't mind a Tignari because I didn't have a Tignari, so yeah. 
Miss Autumn is a genuine lady. She changed Nana's outfit many times a day. Nana wore a different dress to sleep, meals, afternoon teas, balls, walks, and even dates with different accessories. Oh, how posh. Then the purple-eyed Autumn left home. Nana wandered here with her and became friends with us. Purple-eyed Autumn left home and came here. Purple-eyed Autumn. Yeah. Remember Hyper Bloom? I, uh, I did say Dory, right? <laughs> Dory is my best Hyper Bloomer. <laughs> Now, would you mind, Mr. Quijano? Meow meow. Okay, I'll also tell them a little bit about you. Sorry, Mr. Quijano is still wanted by the Maison Guardianage to this day, so I can't say much at all. For your own good, of course. <laughs> For my own good, what is he going to do? Kill me? Years ago, when Mr. Quijano was adventuring with his buddies, Oh, that would be Rouge and the blind man Freeman. I don't know any of this, but I'm pretty sure it's based off of uh, Zoro. Much like Puss in Boots. They were pursued by hired hitmen to Poisson. They ran out of everything except the three goons on their trail. <clears throat> nah. People that say Dory is the weakest don't actually know how to use Dory. Have you seen Dory Wildfire Hyper Bloom? <laughs> it's actually amazing. That was when Mr. Crigiano charged in and saved them. What was it that you said at the time, Mr. Crigiano? Uh, Z for Zoro? V for Vengeance? I, I can't remember which one's which. Meow, 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 meow. Right, he said. My fine friends, I love you with all my heart. But it's time to say goodbye. We'll meet again six feet under. Oh my god, that's dark as shit. <laughs> he thought he'd never make it, so he lunged in alone and drove all three bad guys away. Floor 9 with Dory Hyperbloom. My god. Maybe? If it's a correct uh, enemy type. I should be able to do it. Well, then you must be a master of the sword. <laughs> and you believe it now, don't you? Rouge once said that you have to use your head, not your ears, to truly get what others are saying. If you still don't get it, just... Close your eyes and listen with your head. The girl's words are full of fantasies. You don't think it would hurt to go with the flow. Ah, oh, well, it's a picnic. <laughs> well, actually, the quest isn't that long. We just started. <laughs> uh, I've just been talking to you most of the time, that's all. Keep your eyes closed a bit longer. If you're bored... I'll sing a song for you. Mr. Kujano and Lady Nana often sing it along with me. Hey, diddle diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The fish jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed so to see much fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. No wonder they're so close to each other. What would they say? You meditate on that for a while. Meditate. Uh, Tobiko, Pavan's not feeling any different. But should we try to speak with the cat and the dog? I didn't know, I didn't think we'd be camping. Try to understand what Don Kijano and Nana are saying. You have to use your head, not your ears, to truly get what others are saying. Ah, oh, he's on the chair. It's my seat. Meow, 
Meow, meow, meow, meow, meow, what? What do you say? It's not stupid. Don't you talk about, talk bad about Tubby Bitong. You understood that, Paimon? Yeah, you just came to Paimon without any effort. That's probably because you're practically a child. You're getting smarter, Paimon. <laughs> no, that's teaser. You're practically a child, yeah. What? Are you calling Paimon immature? No, it can't be, right? <laughs> woof, oh, woof, woof, woof. It's because she listens from the heart. I can understand now. Hello, wandering waltz. Hello, friends from afar. Don't you know we came from far away? Can he not only speak, but tell the future just like Mona did? Or Mona too? Ah. Oh, let me get into character. A friend from afar is a common greeting. Friends from afar. Oh. So everything Penny said is true. I did used to live in the court of Fontaine. Such wonderful memories. I suppose. Oh. She's no longer barking. My old friends are still mingling regularly at the Hotel de Bourg. <laughs> I would often accompany Autumn to such soirees at the hotel, and oh, how we danced. We wouldn't stop dancing, not even when the band grew tired. Whether or not you believe me, it is all little more than a memory for me now. For now, Autumn has found her calling, and I have found mine. I wish only for her happiness, from the bottom of my heart. And what about your back left leg? Come on, stretch that too. And Rouge has accepted me, so in the end... I stay here by choice. She's fully immersed in the story. But in her memory, huh? Rouge. Penny mentioned that name. Who is he? He is a graceful gentleman. And he is Penny's guardian, as well as our friend. Very fun to be with. Adept at archery, and knows a thing or two about swords. An outstanding young man. Don't dabble in dangerous deeds, Kujano, or you'll get yourself killed. Worry not, Nana. A gremlin once foretold that I shall not die so easily. The prophecy says that when at least, when at last I tire of adventuring, a respectable and adorable girl shall appear. And in her, I shall find my purpose for all my remaining days, and I shall just dedicate all that I have and aim and am to ensure she never comes to harm. That child is Penny, but how can I best protect her? Were I a knight and not a swashbuckler, I would know how, unless I am not. A knight? You have one right in front of you. Tobito is an honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. Oh my. To think I should encounter a true knight. Oh wait, it's gone French. Shit. <laughs> so, pretty admirable, right? Then allow me one presumptuous request. I suppose we have the same idea. <laughs> Although there's basically nothing we, the legendary adventurer duo, Tavito and Paimon can't do, our time is quite valuable and carries the cost. Why don't we figure out some charging plans while we have time? When we have time. I'd be willing to spend all of my jewels to hire a knight. So if you could... Please, become friends with Penny. Huh? That's it? Our dear Penny stands at a fork in the road, 
she knows not whether to grow up or remain a child. Her body is still growing, and she grows bigger by the day. Indeed. That, that's what humans do, yes? She is growing mentally as well, and her heart grows more complicated by the day. She has any parents? What do a cat and a dog know of such courage, uh, strange human things? But it should be easy for a knight. We need a knight to be Penny's friend. Perhaps then she can find the answers. You're very good to Penny. The hell, man? You going weeb on me? She's the best child in the world. Oh, no, no, no. I've got to stop you right there. Obviously, Paimon's the best child. <laughs> no one loves her more than I do. Please be Penny's friend. I offer you all my necklaces and satin dresses. Well, they all, you know, fitted for dogs, so I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. <laughs> you have my word. That I shall protect you with mine own life, should the need arise. The gems from Lea traders may be priceless, but Don Quijano's promises are more precious still. How do I become her friend then? You will? Pama wants to be little Penny's friend too. My dear friends, here, hence, you are friends from afar, no longer. From the moment you asked that question, you became dear friends. This is wonderful. So wonderful. Let us tell Penny the good news. Alright, let me just... Oh, wait, this is not even a real seat. Liar! Liar! Hey, Nana. From the moment you asked that question, you became dear friend. Alright. From the moment you asked that question, you became dear friends. Let's go tell Penny the good news. Okay, now that was a bit weird. Oh well, Penny. Penny, my dear, you shall have two new friends. The legendary th adventurer duo, Tabito and Paimon, are willing to be our friends. Really? Ha, ha, awesome. I have so many friends now. Let's have a ceremony to commemorate this. The ceremony requires a speech, but alas, we lack the time to write a proper one. Don't worry, just keep it simple. Very well, then I shall make this brief. Please, come forward. You should do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby declare Penny, friend to the children, Don Quijano, the swashbuckler, and Lady Nana, hereby welcome Paimon and... Ah, just a moment. How should I introduce you two? You two. You mean Paimon's title? We can call Paimon the best guardian to that. And let's use honorary knight for the Knight of Favonius for him. Though his other titles are awesome too. No, no, no. That's not what Mr. Keanu is asking. What we need to know who your... F uh, we need to know who your friends are. Every one of us, cats and dogs, are bound together by the bonds of friendship. It seems like this is a dialogue-only quest. Well, at least so far. I'm not sure if they'd tell me to go do something else. A life bereft of friendship. Ah, oh, such a life would be too horrible. So, who are your friends? A deity that oversees a whole nation. A government a government officials and wealthy people. Paimon is my oh. <laughs> So this will be Raiden. Or it could be Nahida. This will be uh, Lear Chishin. Or well, basically Kiching and Ningguang. 
Oh, this is too wholesome. Paimon is my best friend. You're also Paimon's best friend. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So you are a pair of good friends. Wonderful. I can see that Paimon is a truly great friend. Good. In the name of all the bearings, cakes, and storybooks, Penny, Paimon, and Tabibito are now good friends. You will share all your bones, biscuits, and picture books, and say good night to each other before you go to sleep. Play in the mud together, scare birds together, and count stars together. Woohoo! 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 Now we're all friends, but wait, the two of you haven't met the children yet. <coughs> Here's children. God, gosh, we almost forgot the children. Strange, I haven't seen them all day. The children are our friends too. You two should meet them. You're right. Please go meet the children. Let me show you. Uh, let me know. You are their new friends. Uh, let them know. Let them. They probably went somewhere far away to play. It's high time they returned. Go into the water and have a look. Don't worry. Just go underwater. You don't. You needn't fret about the children not wanting to come back. I'll sing a song to send you along. I didn't kill them, did I? The children will come back to sleep in their ba big shells when they hear my song. So head over to the big shell and wish them sweet dreams. This unique friend. Let's go to the big shell penny mansion and look for the children. What song would you like to sing, Penny? Uh, what song would you like to sing, Penny? I keep thinking that the dog's talking and the well, oh, whatever. How about a lullaby? Oh, I love lullabies. All right, whatever. Uh, what's over there? Let's get rid of this quest marker. Cause it's about to be done. Oh shit! Give me a boat. Yes. When the flow comes. Wait, what? The cradle will rock. Okay. Here's the shell. See the children. Oh. Is this the children? Bubble, bubble. Penny is singing. Bubble, bubble. Fish? So the children Penny was talking about are fish. Oh. Hello there. We're Penny's new friends. Paimon and Tabby Town. Bubble, bubble. New friends? New friends. New friends. Bubble, bubble. Sweet dreams. New friends. Sweet dreams. Well, they seem happy. Now that we've met them, let's go to the next shell. <coughs> my god, this killing my voice. If the stem breaks, the cradle will fall. Yet I will catch you, cradle and all. Baby is drowsy, cozy and fair. I sing a lullaby, oh baby here. This is what you sing to do. Babies. Yeah. Bubble, bubble, can't find. Bubble, bubble, can't find. Hello there. We're Penny's new friends. Paimon and Tubby Toe. Bubble, bubble, new friends. Bubble, bubble, old friends, can't find. Bubble, bubble, Penny is singing. Bubble, bubble, sleepy. 
They seem to have lost something strange, but we should be done here, so let's head over to the next cell first. They lost their old friends. Where is this? Forward and back the cradle she swings. The baby sleeps. They hear what she sings. Oh wait, what? Where, where are the children? They're missing. There's nothing here. Where are the children? Huh? That's a Fatoyan senior. The children are gone. And there's only a Fatoyan senior left inside the shell. You have to tell Penny about this. Wait, are these one of those water bottles? Old insignia. <laughs> All oh, right, yep. Yeah. Uh, here it is. An insignia that marks the owner's identity. If it's been left here and no one thought to look for it for a long time, perhaps the owner didn't care about it very much. A very old Fatui insignia. Some lore shit here. Well, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Hey, Don, what are you doing down there? Hello. What song would you like to sing, Benny? Uh, wait, what? Oh, it's the same shit. Alright, Penny. Didn't find your friends. Just found this insignia. Penny! We just met the children underwater. How did it go? Did you become pals? I would call it friendly enough encounter. We're pals now. A friendly enough encounter, yeah. Penny, some of them went missing. We found this in the cradles. Tell me tell if you would. This is a Fatui insignia. What? You probably don't know this, but... If a tree are a bunch of very, very bad guys, they ha they might have kidnapped the children. But don't you worry, we'll help you, since we're friends now. Bad guys? Are you saying that Tarek is a bad guy? Oh, they also befriended the Fatui. He's called Tarek. Huh? Tarek? Who or what is that? Carrick off sings with Penny. I once recommended he try his luck at the Opera Epicles. You don't get the Fatui is the fish. <laughs> he does have a nice voice. He would go underwater to play with the children as well. That's right. Carrick is a swimmer most swift. I admire him greatly. So you mean there's a Fatuist named Carrick who's, who's Penny's friend and he left this mark behind? I think so. This belongs to Carrick. He's our pal. Really? Oh, maybe we're misunderstood. What are Fatui anyway? A bunch of guys who love to pull dirty deeds. A bunch of guys who see things differently than most people. Yeah. I just say we have a difference of opinion. Although, I think we'll end up working with them. Especially when it comes to Schneeshnaya. Because I don't think that Tsaritsa is in Schneeshnaya. Ooh. Some in the Fatui love to use others and do bad things. They've opposed us loads of times. So is Carrick very bad? Does he do a lot of dirty deeds? Come on, this ain't longer than the Ark Conquest, surely. I can smell scoundrels from a mile away, but Carrick had not the stench of ill will about him. But if our dear friends say he may 
be just such a person. Oh, I understand. Perhaps Carrick was once bad, but has since turned over a new leaf. That is also the possibility. That he is both good and bad. Oh, you are quite correct. One can be both bad and good. Just like a person can enjoy both dainty little cakes and raw seafood. Raw seafood. Ugh. Only the worst of the worst eat that kind of thing. Come now, Rana. Raw seafood isn't that bad. <laughs> Wrong. I shall never touch the stuff. Okay, if the two of you cut out the children, where did they go? Oh, don't worry. The little troublemakers often run off on their own. They'll be back soon enough. Penny, what's on your mind? Why are you zoning out? Good guys and bad guys. That sounds complicated. Like math. Like, what do you get when you add one good guy and one bad guy together? Uh, you get a good guy and a bad guy? Uh, I don't know. Penny spreads her fingers and frowns in deep thought, but to no avail. She takes out a math book and scribbles, again, to no avail. Hmm, I can't figure this out. I haven't gotten to this part of math yet. I'll ask Autumn when she gets back. Oh, where's Autumn? You must learn from an adult like Autumn. Penny, adults know the answers to questions like this. We have returned to the old question once again. Does Penny want to grow up or not? Yes, this is the 36th time that we've raised the issue. We have made a list of all the pros and cons of being an adult. Do you have the list, Quijano? Fret not. I have long since committed it to memory. Cons, number one. Adults cannot sleep on velvet cushions, for adults are hard and sturdy creatures. They must sleep on boards of hardwood, so that they can keep their minds and bodies hard. It's awful not to be able to sleep on soft cushions. <laughs> Con two. Adults aren't allowed to catch butterflies, though I have not the slightest idea why. I know. I remember how Autumn grew up. It began when she stopped stepping on in puddles as she passed. Then she refused to go barefoot after getting out of bed. She insisted on wearing her leather shoes. And finally, I asked her if she'd like to go catch butterflies together one day. She refused and picked up her textbooks and went into the study. That was the moment she grew up. I saw her become an adult, just like that. That is why I believe that being an adult means you cannot go catch butterflies. Actually, not catching butterflies is fine. There are other plenty more fun things to do. Oh, but it's not just these, dear. Out of all those fun things, you must choose only one. You can't do math when you're busy eating cookies, and it's difficult to eat cake when you're holding a musket. That's rough. So I can't have the other stuff like bearings, bows and arrows, and pretty dresses all at the same time? No, dear, you can't. You can only choose one. Because humans only live once. Not to mention, Penny, that Crigiano and I will no longer be able to keep you company. What? You can't grow up with me? How can I be without you? Who's going to lick my face when I wake up? Who's going to tell me bedtime stories? What am I supposed to do? My poor Penny. You know my purpose is to love and protect you. I, too, am sad that I cannot grow up with you. Oh, Paimon doesn't know why, but now she feels like crying, too. Don't cry. Growing up is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. 
Not necessarily. Ladies, please do not weep. If I may be earnest, I cannot bear the sight of tears. If I could pierce that which makes you weep, I should draw my sword this instant. But I... I cannot bear it. I really cannot. I've got to do something. Mr. Knight, let us think of a way to stem their tears. We need... We... We perhaps can bring the children back and let them sing with Penny and Nana. Surely, that would make them happy. Yes, that is exactly what we should do. Come, come over here now. Let's figure out how to get it done. I feel so sad, Nana. Don't be sad, Penny. <laughs> Dear friends, how do you feel about the idea? We just need to find the children and bring them back. Uh, Miss probably isn't going to solve the real problem. She still has to face growing pains eventually. I know, I know. But since she cannot choose, can't we just let her grow up later? Were Penny to grow up just like that, who would scratch under my chin? Who would cuddle me at night as I sleep? No, no. Let us give her more time. As Penny's dear friend, I must put a stop to her tears this very instant and make her smile. Lady Nana's purpose is to love Penny, and mine is to be Penny's knight. I must protect her from harm. Alas, I truly am a failure to think that Penny is crying before my very eyes. If only I were a real knight. Out of curiosity, why do you want to be a knight so badly, Crigiano? It is my calling, friends. Have you never been entrusted with such a noble cause? Rouge asked me with, tasked me with this duty. And I took an oath to protect Penny. Don Chiano is one who keeps his word. Now, there is no more time to lose. We must take action now. Sure. Papa doesn't want it, her friends to cry either. Count me in. Very well. Then it's time to get up, children. Listen to me, children. Our Penny is facing an unpre unprecedented emotional crisis. We must bring back all the missing troublemakers in order to restore her smile. Then we shall sing together for her and make her happy. That's what friends do, right? Yes, yes, yes. Honorable Tabibito, Lady Paimon, this is embarrassing, but I don Kiano. I am well versed in both swords and fairy tales, and I am an ingenious gentleman, but I fear I cannot swim. <laughs> All right. May I task you with the glorious mission of retrieving the troublemakers from seawater? A seawater. Sure, it'll be a piece of cake. Yes. Just yes? Children. Help our new friends out here, and don't be naughty. Got it, got it, got it! Follow us, follow us, follow us! I am... Together, 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 let's swim! Don't lose it, don't lose it, lose it! Ahead, ahead, ahead! You'll find the troublemakers ahead! These kids don't feel that reliable. Well, they are kids, we shouldn't pin too many hopes on them. Let's have a closer look around and see what happens, shall we? Uh, it's killing my voice.
Are they in the rocks? Is that cannon gonna activate and shoot at me? Stuck in the rocks! Stuck in the rocks! Stuck in the rocks! So worried, right, so worried, right, worried we are. Seems like the troublemakers are trapped along the rocks, it's trying to break the rocks and rescue them. I'm pretty sure that was Paimon supposed to say that, but whatever. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Follow the children. Do you remember Tabito? That oh, is his full name to feel and you know what the heck? I must forgotten. Right now it's the time to get us the children. I can give them some convenient nicknames. A yeah, man had a lady in a skirt. Mr. Hat and Mr. Skirt. That's what Papa would call him. Now, what was Papa gonna say? Oh, she's gone and forgotten. See, the children, they're all young fish. They can swim through despite their small size. We've come miles. Phew, all this swimming is tiring Papa now. Not small, not small, not small. St stuck and worried, worried, so we are. Get her out, get her out. This one's certainly much larger. She must be the one. Alright, is that Manta? There it is. Oh, yeah. Alright, here's the level. Bam. Free at last, free at last. Can see with everyone again. Sing together, and together we sing. <laughs> Useless. Ah, needed health. Trying to fight me? You're trying to fight me? We sing, we sing, come along. Sing to the waves, sing to the seaweed, sing to the new friends. Butterfly, butterfly, where do you fly? I know not, I ask not. Found it, found it, found it! These little, these little troublemakers are competing again. Whoever catches them wins. You mean, the swarms of fast fish? Swas a fast swimming, swimming blue fish are the children we need to bring back? Yes, yes, catch up with them and tell them. I caught you, I caught you, I caught you. You think Mr. Cat Hatter was right? They really are a bunch of mischievous kids. Go on. No, I have a place to lie. John, no child, where goes you? I don't know. I shall ask for. I wish to. Gotcha. Ah, we've been caught. Well, fine. Let's play again next time. Yeah, oh, it's so slippery. How fast they swim while well, I leave two more groups of strong mix slip for them. Oh, here you go. I have a card, I found this play again next time. Let's, know. Let's look around. Go home. Your friend Penny needs you. 
Are you looking for us? Home, home, let's go home. Where are the skinny cats? The skinny cats? Can they still respond to us? Oh, 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 oh. Sing to the waves, sing to the sea waves, sing to our new friends. Butterfly, butterfly, when shall I go? You do not answer, you do not know. Butterfly, butterfly, let us soar through the air. Through rain and through dew and through songs fair. Butterfly, butterfly, let us both go. Where the sun shines and where the buds grow. Oh god, how many children are there? I'm dying here. Oh, there it is. Look at this guy. Alright, you wanna spit shit at me? You wanna spit shit at me? That's what you get. Penny, where is she now? We're locked up in here. Oh, whoops. Looks like these are the scary cats we need to save. We'll see. Maybe we'll there are another entrance to go look for each. Rusty key. Someone must have dropped this here. Just what lock does it open? Freeman's announcement. Wait, what? Freeman. This sounds familiar. Autumn's regrets. Oh, Autumn. <clears throat> he was once wrongly accused, and, as he was about to be thrown into prison, saved by the selfless members of the press, thanks to the Honourable Lady's arguments, Freeman was freed. As his benefactor Euphrasia said, truth is always marching onward, and nothing can stop it. He has been continuing and waiting, waiting for those who will carry, out, carry on his ideals. Have you ever read this far, friend? Are you willing to believe in justice and hope? If you share those ideals, please light a flame. Of the four flames, only that which is set upon the land is the flame of hope. Light it to receive a token of Freeman's gratitude. Ah, oh, that place. Is there a flame there at any light? Dang it, that wasn't even the right thing. See, I can enter from above. Oh. They might have the key with them. Damn it. Rusty Iron Key.
Why is there a bunch of cryer shit there? Yep. Oh, that, that was a way to get in. I see. As we found the entrance, let's get in the cabin and calm down the thing. Did the quest end? No. It's just beginning. <laughs> gotcha. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Penny's waiting for you to go back home. Penny looking for us. Come home. Let's go home quick. Let's go home, new friends. Go home. Penny's waiting for us. All right, let's go look for Penny, Mr. Han, Miss Skirt. All right, time to return. Yes, the quest is still going. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the end of it. We're back, everyone. Are all the children back as well? Yes, the Honorable Tamibito and Lady Paimon too. They have all returned. We're here! We're here! We're here! Penny's not crying anymore. Are you still sad, Penny? I stopped crying for a while now. Nana licked all my tears away. Thank you, good Nana. You too, Criano. Uh, Tamibito and Paimon. My pleasure, Penny. It is my calling to love you, after all. Aha! I knew it. I knew our Penny would be strong enough. And would never keep crying. Actually, I'm not that strong. I'm still a little scared and want to cry a little. It's okay, don't be afraid, let's sing! Let's all swim and sing, Penny! Great idea, my friends. Sadness and sorrow have been conquered, and so we shall raise our voices in glorious song. Come here, new friends. Want the waves back, and she will carry you. Don't worry, friends. We'll follow you on the shore. I mean, wave rider? Enter the wave. Wait, enter the wave? Oh. Hey, Penny. Sing, friends. Sing. I will sing with you. Well, let's experience a song. Oh, yeah. Sing along, sing along, come and sing a song. Rouge sword, autumn's handkerchief. Freeman's candies, Carrick's ballad. Tabito swims with me. Paimon sings me to sleep. We won't forget. Forget the times we spent so fine. Swim ahead, swim along, swim, swims, along. Will I be forgotten in the blink of an eye, those times we spent so fine? The bedtime tales, the promises we made, the anticipation we had forgotten. La 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 la, forget it all. Swim on, fly on, swim, swim, fly. What the fuck is this quest? Swim on, fly on. That's a great song. I'm not scared now. It's fine to grow up. Nothing to it. It might be better if there was actually, you know, a melody. Because <laughs> I couldn't find one. That was a great swim. No effort needed on our part. The getting shot out of the water by a big head at the end was pretty spooky. It was plenty spooky. I'd love to do it again. I feel dizzy. Yeah, I'd love to do it again. Friends, seeing you all smile together makes me most happy indeed. I've realized something big. I must tell Rouge about this the next time I see him. I'm the Shadow Rouge Casts, and it is my honor to accompany you, my lady. Oh, and another thing. When Autumn comes back from the Court of Fontaine, I must tell her about you two, Tabibito and pa Tabibito Paimon. Are you and this Autumn close, Penny? Autumn's very nice to me. She left Nana behind to watch over me. They're my absolute favorites. I am the fragrance that Autumn left behind, and your smile is my bliss, my dear sweetheart. 
Son. Nana, did you hear that? Did something just go thump? Yes, I heard it too. And did you notice? There is something shining in Penny's eyes. What is that? It is the light of curiosity, which illuminates every dark corner, my dear. And some glistening teardrops, making all you all the more gentle. <clears throat> you have already grown up with our blessing, my good child. Wait, we haven't given Penny our blessings? And she's a grown-up already? Come on, Tabibita, let's give Penny a blessing. We, uh, you always have a good appetite. I'm a traveler, so... May you always have the courage to explore the world. Explore the world. I've decided. What did you decide, Penny? I was going to become a grown-up at the Court of Fontaine, but now I've changed my mind. I want to travel, just like Tabubito. You mean you want to be a, an adventurer, Penny? Yes, Tabubito and Paimon are adventurers. If I want to travel like them, I have to be an adventurer too. If you want to be an adventurer, Penny, you have to get the Adventurer's Guild's approval first. And that is a very hard thing to do, not to mention how the t life on an adventurer is pretty tough. So are you sure that's what you want? It's okay, I want to give it a try. In that case, I'll write a recommendation for you as your rite of passage gift, Penny. You borrow pen and paper from Penny and write a simple introduction letter. Wonderful, thank you. I love it. Come on, I'll give everyone a gift too. Please gather round. Penny skips and kisses Mr. Hat and Miss Skirt on the forehead with a smile. Then she kisses Paimon on the cheek before you bend over. Well, what? <laughs> As Penny kisses your forehead with joy, you can almost feel her anticipation and unease about the future. All right. <laughs> Dearest, most beloved friends of mine, I'm an adult now, and I'm going to be an adventurer. I do believe in fairies. I think that was alluding to, um, Autumn and her, uh, and her crew. I think they were a band of adventurers or something. Don't worry, Hyper Bloom. Oh boy. Let me just do this first. This is, um. What do you call it? I should do this before I forget, but I for kind of forgot where they were based exactly. Is it here? I think so. They're around here somewhere. Maybe I can take a look back on up here. What? 78k. Yeah, 78k. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's right there. I had 72 get nah, nah, nah. I always had 78. Well, close. I just did a bunch of quests. That's what it. Is it here? Nah, it doesn't actually look like it. It looks like that last part. Oh shit. I think I'm lost. Where was it? Is it this? Might be this. I know the VOD's there, so... 
we're unsure we could always just check that I've never actually been here to actually listen to the music yeah it's right here What did it ask of me? Is it this fire? Uh, on the four flames, only that which is set upon the land is the flame of hope. Light it to receive a token of Freeman's gratitude. Of four flames, one is set upon land. Which part is... Is this land? Oh, that also is land. Crumpled bill. Crumpled bill with a few lines scribbled on the back. The bag guy brought the news. The people of Lear went want to eat alone, and his honor is not pleased. Someone has to make them wear stiff shoes. The boss intends to set out on sundown, summon that good guy Walker, and bring even more soldiers. That sounds like one of those uh, weird talking things. Lasselin. Oh, I've never been here before. Well, in here. That's interesting. Discarded bill. A bill carelessly discarded on the bar. One corner marked with a scrolled with scrolled corrections. Three shipments from Lear with heavy bricks checked them. Our Lear friends have one foot in the bridge and they could use some help. Purchase Fonta. Can I actually purchase Fonta? Silent machine before you is ready to serve a bottle of Fonta anytime. Remember, refreshing Fonta is a font refreshment. Oh my god, I can. Bye well. Oh well. So there's four of these. Ah, here's another one. Yeah, I realized that afterwards. <laughs> so, huh? Because uh, they, they mentioned what Fonta was supposed to be like. It's meant to be uh, fizzy and sugary and sweet. Wait, am I supposed to use this to light them? Can't be, right? Also, I can't. Well, please, would you like to know a secret regarding the treasure? Wait, treasure? One moment, please. Would you like to hear a secret about the treasure? Uh, what secret? Don't tell me you know about this thing as well. It has to do with the treasure. With treasure and the key to opening the gate. How does that sound? Interested? You're not asking me to fight monsters again, are you? You're not asking me to find someone or something for you again, are you? Of course not. We wouldn't dream of asking tavern guests to run errands. See this naval artillery by the side and the rubble it's pointed at? Activate the cannon and blow up those rocks, and any treasure you uncover is yours for the taking. Who on Teva named that cannon? The helmsman did. I'm not entirely sure myself when where he acquired it. Out with it. What parts are missing? Out with it. How is it powered? And what parts are missing? I think you've been misinformed, friend. The cannon is entirely intact and fully powered. I tend to it every day. But before you activate the cannon, I would like to answer several questions. I would like you to answer several questions. It's per the request from the helmsman. He called it a good source of amusement for guests at the tavern. Something to slow down their drinking and keep them here longer. I'm not sure about this, but ask away. Question 1. 
How many tables are there in the Rusty Rudder? Question 2. How many employees do we have at the Rusty Rudder? Question 3. What is not served in the Rusty Rudder? That's it. You only need to answer these three questions correctly to activate the cannon. Blow up the rubble and get the treasure. What will happen after I get the treasure? After that, I'll find the right time to place another suitable prize in the cave and seal it with rubble. The treasure is waiting to be claimed once the next kiss activates the artillery. It's a lot of work for you. Talk about a horrible boss. I find it hard to disagree with your remark, but I have yet to find a way to point the cannon at the helmsman without him detecting it. <laughs> well, it is rather slow. Besides, rashly shooting at the wrong direction may harm other guests at the tavern, which stands in conflict with my moral principles. How many quests? I have no idea. Probably not much left. That's all. You may look for the answers now. Meanwhile, I'll stay here and wait for you. How many tables? Oh, when I went in there, I just saw two. Was it one? Well, one table. What do you serve? Fanta? Now listen here. Huh? You're... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that. Now, what would you like? Do you work here? That's right. I'm a waitress. I mean... Uh, uh, I mean, the chief mate. Though it's kind of the same job as the waitress. And the reason for using titles like this is because Mr. Pito said it would help navigating the waves of the business world. He said himself that a client from Nia taught him how to pay for... Not pray for luck by giving auspicious names like this. But I reckon that he didn't quite grasp what they were trying to teach him. What do you serve? Is it Fonta? It's not Fonta, is it? Anyway, I can't be bothered with this. So you know what? Uh, I'm just moving on. <laughs> I'll deal with this later. Let me just plug it with this. Okay, now I've got another day, uh, world quest. Alright. Let's see what type of enemies they are. Yeah, I got 29 stars. Can't get 36. I won't go for meta. Can probably do the first half with the the Harper Bloom method. Although eh, it doesn't matter. And one more. What shall it be? Uh, well, Kazuha. Or even a sucrose will do. That doesn't matter. Let's use the Nublet team. New Zealand. For what? <laughs> With Nuvalet? Uh, that's terrible. As he uses charge attack, he doesn't use a uh, normal attack. Nor does my Hyper Bloom team. Now, this team doesn't use attacks at all. They just use skills. So Yelan won't work. That's why I gotta use Barbara. Or Kokomi, but Kokomi doesn't uh, have that ring of water. Nearly would work, but, you know. 
Uh, let's see how this works. It should work properly. I need a lot of hardware application. Music, start! So yeah, that's the problem. I don't get hit with the hydro. Oh, whoops. Okay, that didn't go too well, but maybe next one will go well. But that doesn't matter. It requires a very specific setup. Let me see if I can do it again. Okay, they have uh, these guys. This will work. Okay. Also need me to get my my freaking uh. Thing. Okay, I lost all the hydro. <laughs> Wait, you see, it works when you have hydro. When they don't get affected, it doesn't matter. Oh, damn it. Please come closer. Uh, can't keep it up. It's not in the hydro. But you get the idea. <laughs> Damn it. I just stay wet. Oh, 
You see it, right? I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> this is Harvard Bloom, right? Took too long. Oh well. I didn't three star that because well, <laughs> maybe maybe that wasn't really the best. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Uh, Redo this. Oh no, I'll restart the whole thing, wouldn't it? This is why I usually normal normally use.
Yalan Tignari Kukin Kazuha. The thing is, uh, Tignari uses charge shots and he doesn't use a normal attack, so Yalan's not really that useful in that team. Hu Tao, Nuvalet. Now, all that. <laughs> you have Hu Tao and Nuvalet, which are both main DPSs, which can't be on the same field at the same time, so one of them's useless. <laughs> Ayaka or Shenhe, well. Uh, that won't work. Too many main DPSs. is about Shang Ling is that uh, well you have to be very uh, close to them ish I think Nuvlet goes out of the range I don't know you're gonna have to micromanage the range even if there are only two elements it's it's fine most of the time you are it just needs to ちらまくをしむ。風の。はっ、はっ、猫そぎにしてあげる。ちょく、律令。せ。見えないだろ。よ、よ。音が聞こえる。ついてきて。十分、律令、十分。風の行く先を行こう。一応目を覆えば。せっ。猫そぎにしてあげる。よ。振動の権限。チョック十分。だ。ストレイトのサイクル。風を知れ。風の雲の行く。見えないだろ。え、ついてきて。音が聞こえる
Now the first team is alright if you use Ayatol because uh, of the Hydro application of his ultimate. If you're just using him for that. Uh, second team. Nuvalet, Yai, Abidus slash Bennett, Kazaha. I could work as electric charge, I guess. Nah, I don't have Aito. Aito is a sub DPS. He could be main DPS. That's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah, before I thought this was a defense. So I was trying to defend it. <laughs> Oh, did that thing just block all of it? ちょっと立流。ね、こそぎにしてあげる。ネクラマス。はい。ついてて。よっ。それ。はい。ライコイト美しきかな。ノーク。15。見えないだろ。よっ。よっ。せい。鏡の音が聞こえる。水のように切れ。I had token indeed be both. Such this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really invisible. <laughs> Couldn't get him. <laughs> well, there we go. All right. Unfortunately, I have run out of time, but yeah. Yelan, Cookie, Tignari, and Sucrose. Hmm. Now I don't see it though. Can't be Yilan because you know. Tignara does not auto attack. <laughs> uh, he never does this. You know, when you see me fighting, I never. I never do this. Why do this? One, two, three. And then I switch. I, ne I never auto attack. And that's how Yelan's thing uh, activates. And that's how you get your Hydro application. So, um, unless you're using Yelan as the main DPS, and this as a sub DPS, I don't see how that works. Yeah, Nahida would be much better. Of course. <laughs> She's an Archon. But yeah, I'm still determined to get Dory to work. And it does work, but it needs like, um, I don't know, Hydro Elementals. Like if I fight Hydro Phantasms, like even uh, the Hydro Mimics and, uh, where is it? Oceanid? Yeah, you know, Rodeo? It will work very well because I don't need to worry about Hydro Application. No, I don't have Baiju. Yeah. 
It's not for me, I suppose. I'll do this in my own time as well as the rest of the Spiral Abyss. Usually for Spiral Abyss, uh, I go until I, uh, I don't three star. When I don't three star, then I just say, uh, just stop. No need to continue further. Anyway, this is where I should end my stream. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Claiming my daily commission. Yeah, I complete the Sakura tree. It's not too hard. Just gotta find uh, the chests. <laughs> and do your quests. Alright. Also, remember to do your, um, world quests. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. Achievements. What do I get? Mouthwatering. Oh, yeah. I do believe in fairies. Don't even know who Penny is. Well. Don't really know. Okay, claim all. Nice. Anyways, peach, peach, peach. <laughs>